This video illustrates the technique of endoscopic fulguration of the trigon. This procedure is being used in the management of women with antibiotic, refractory, recurrent urinary tract infections who have chronic trigonitis recognized on office-based cystoscopy. The trigon is a triangular area at the base of the bladder which extends from the bladder neck to the interuretric ridge. And this 69-year-old woman with a 12-year history of recurrent urinary tract infections, lesions of cystitis cystica, pus pockets, and tiny stones or encrustations are easily recognized when surveying the whole trigon area. The location of each uretric orifice is first identified. Using a female urethroscope, a fine tip bug bee electrode on a low setting of 20 for surface cauterization, the fulguration starts medial to the uretric orifice, along the inner uretric ridge, first on the left and then on the right to join the other side. Then the right lateral edge of the involved trigon is cauterized down to the bladder neck area. The bladder neck area is cauterized as well from right to left. The left border of the trigon has now been fulgurated. Once the left side of the trigon has been done, the area inside these blanched lines can be cauterized without fear of injuring the ureters or the urethra. The bug bee tip helps in dislodging the cauterized pods and in smoothing out the fulgurated area. The cauterized tissues and pods are irrigated out using the sheath as a vacuum. The final survey of the cauterized area from the right to the left uretric orifice indicates no active bleeding and the elimination of most chronic lesions down to the bladder neck area. In urine, the process of healing is very slow. Here at six months later, the whole area has finally healed and the inflamed trigon has been replaced by a thin, pale lining with no new lesions. Our experience with this procedure spans nearly two decades. One recent series reported on 95 patients. Another publication on the biopsy findings of these areas of chronic trigonitis used a fish technology to identify resident bacteria in these inflamed areas. Here is a close-up view of bacteria seen in green below the surface of the urethelium deep inside the bladder wall. Although we only presented today our experience with fulguration of trigonitis alone, the same procedure can be applied for a larger burden of cystitis lesions involving additional areas of the bladder wall, including dome, anterior, and lateral bladder walls.